Hello and welcome back to another Music Monday and today, yes, again, we are continuing on with Tales from the Crypt by Crypt. And in this, and in this episode, oh, I've just hit my fan, lovely, uh, we're going to be reacting to the 10th song of the album called The End. Now, we've just come off of the, the very deep and, uh, dark relationship story of Night in September and the music video that uh, accompanies it. And now we're moving on to a song that's called The End. Now, The End could have many different, many different meanings, but I suppose we're going to find out by uh, listening. So, without further ado, let's get into this. This is The End. Here I am, standing in this chair, rope around my neck, I feel like no one cares, I'm hopeless. I try to talk to God, but it seems like I don't have a prayer. Why can't I just be a normal man? Why can't I be loved? I don't understand why I'm not good enough. I gave it all I had, and now I'm giving up, and now the only thing I trust is this trust. They always told me I should pray. They always told me God would take away this pain. They always told me time would make it go away. They always told me stick it out, you'll be okay, but I'm not, and I haven't been. My life's a wreck like it's an accident, so I'll count to ten, and when I hit that last number, I'll be numb and hope this madness ends. One, I remember when she cheated. My heart was broken into several pieces two i was just another dude but you told me that i was the one for you so three four five why'd he have to die best friend was drunk i said they let him drive off the right side of the road he was thrown through the window into the sky six grandma cannot meet my kids she went to heaven january 25th i wasn't ready for her life to end i had so many questions to ask her but now i can so seven eight hope i fall straight with all my weight my neck should break and i will suffocate nine ten i begin to descend close my eyes and know my life is at its end Titans in my neck squeezes. Well, yep. As I thought it could possibly be about, the end is talking about what could have possibly been the end of Crip's life. Wow. That was a deep and dark opening. And uh, we've still got uh, 2 minutes and 10 seconds. So let's see how it continues. But so far, once again, like the last song, this song is very deep. My eyes open wide, I'm barely breathing And I cannot even try to save myself Cause I tied my hands behind my back, I can't believe it I just wanted to be done with all this pain That my life has brought on me I googled how to do this, but it ain't say nothing Bad all the regrets I probably see I start to panic cause my life will vanish Any second now and no one's here with me I could have probably managed any sadness that I had But half the time I felt like no one's listening God, please help me now I'm not ready to go, but I'm blacking out I'm not tapping, but my life is flashing as I'm passing And I'm scared of where I'm headed now The last thing I remember seeing for my eyes sealed shut tight Was a picture of my mom hanging on my wall Staring back into my eyes And instantly I regretted it and I don't know if I'm hella heaven sent But I know it's a mistake I didn't take away this pain I passed it to my relatives How could I be so selfish? I only ever thought of me I could have called anyone to help But I just soaked in all my misery Now my mom's gonna find me hanging there And I know it's gonna mess her up She's gonna blame herself and think she wasn't there As she buries her own youngest son And my parents' marriage starts to fail Cause what kept them glued is under coffin nails Cause it's hard to love when a part of your heart Is torn apart and no longer there And my brothers and sisters will be with one less sibling Thinking about the signs that they were missing And they'll take the blame for it but it's not their fault Every thought of it is like a wound with salt And I'm sorry yeah, as I mentioned in the last song, or in one of the previous music videos that I'm releasing today, I talked briefly on the matter of suicide, but I guess this song brings it more to hand, so, yeah. As I mentioned in the previous song, this uh, song is touching... As I mentioned in a previous reaction, rather, this song is touching on the same points I mentioned that, you know? Like, this is the this is the type of stuff you have to think about if you're going to commit suicide. Which is why you shouldn't do it. And I'm saying this with an emphasis, like, you really shouldn't do it. I'm not any better here. Most people don't know, but I've been, been in the boat of taking my own life. And it's something that you shouldn't really do. And I'm speaking from... A past experience so so just remember don't do it and I and he's touching on the points of you know what you leave behind if you do do it which is 
It's a sad life for the rest of the people that knew you and your family, knowing that you're dead, and they'll never see you again. And it's very, and it's very tragic circumstances. But unfortunately, this is a real thing at hand. It's a real matter, and it does exist, and the country where I'm from, New Zealand, has had one of the highest suicide rates in the world. And while I've been living here now, since 2014, I was born here, but I've lived in Australia for time and then moved back here, but anyway, uh, it's, uh, I've seen firsthand as to the the possibilities of why so many people in this country have committed suicide. It, it does make sense when you put all the pieces of the puzzle together. But yeah, suicide is a very, very touchy subject and uh, one that shouldn't be taken with a grain of salt. Like, recently actually, sorry I know we should be getting back to the music video, but uh, it's good to talk about this. Recently, I actually just did a university survey on this very matter at hand so they can try and minimize suicide rates in young people like myself. So it, it reminds you that, you know, and if you do, and if you do start to suspect that you're feeling suicidal, then get some, then seek help. Like, it doesn't matter if you don't want to contact a it doesn't matter if you don't want to contact an emergency service or your friends or even your family, but just get help somehow. Like no matter who it is, like seriously, get get help because the last thing you want to do is be taking your own life. Like I know days can feel hopeless for some people and even for me, but just remember that there's always a brighter tomorrow. I know for some people that's difficult because some people live with depression. So it's hard for them to see a brighter side. But remember, there will always be a brighter side to life. No matter what. you just got to unlock the key to it. And if, and also, while we're at it, if uh, you notice a friend is feeling suicidal or expresses symptoms of feeling suicidal, then don't be that friend that sits back and does nothing about it. Support them. Comfort them. Because in the end, you may be that deciding factor that saves their life one day. So remember that. Anyway, after that long and very developing talk about suicide, we shall get back to the end of the song now. It never even came across my mind that y'all could help me. So many thoughts ran through my mind that I forgot about you. Honestly, it's overwhelming to my niece and nephew. I'm sorry too. Y'all just think I'm sleeping, but it isn't true. I'm gone and I'm never coming back. I wasn't thinking, I just made a selfish act. My world begins to fade away. My breathing slows with every breath I take. Every thought of every person that I ever loved has made its way into my brain. And I'm full of nothing but regret. But it's too late to change what I've done. My whole life I felt like I'm depressed, but my life had only just begun. Well, yeah, there you go. And there's the song in a very deep and dark, touching story. A very deep, dark, and touching story about suicide and how it almost took Crip's life, and you know, sort of the effects it would have had if he did. So again, like I mentioned, you know, suicide is something that shouldn't be taken lightly, and if you are feeling suicidal or whatever, seek help, because your life matters more than anyone else's. But anyway, that has been the reaction to the end, so, um, it's difficult to talk about deep and dark songs for me, but, uh, yeah, that was a good song, it was a good, good topic speaking emotionally and whatever, and, you know, it's good to get th this out here for other people who feel the same way as Crip, or who have experienced the same, so they can relate to it, and, you know, the songs like these, like, even John Lucas has made a song, about uh, suicide and even logic, you know, one eight hundred. A lot of people hated on that song, but then again, a lot of people have said that song has saved their life or whatever, or that song has helped them cope with feeling suicidal. You know, so these songs really do actually help people within their lives. 
But anyway, uh, I have been that automotive guy. Uh, make sure you, once again, hit the like button, bell, and that swell. <laughs> that was terrible rhyming. I, 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 honestly, that was just, <laughs> that was just bad. Right, let's start this again and do it properly. Okay, right, so hit the subscribe button, tap the ding ling bell, and comment down below what you thought of this reaction, and give it a like, or dislike, or whatever type of buttons down there. Give it a share if you want. <laughs> um, and I will see you in the next video. I've been that automotive guy signing off. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, still want that knock down. Christmas tree, knock down. Mince pies, knock down. Brussels sprouts, knock down. Santa Claus, knock down. Greg Paul, knock down. Knock down.